Okay, so you got your brand new Sony ZV-E1 and you don't know how to color grade. So today I'm gonna to be walking you step-by-step step through how to color grade your footage from your Sony ZV-1 in DaVinci Resolve to get beautiful images like you see on the screen. Okay, so first off, we're gonna be going to the Sony website and checking out one of their LUTs. So as you can see on the screen right now, this is what the website looks like. If you scroll down, you will see download Sony LUT right there. And yeah, you can basically get the same results I'm gonna do today without downloading this LUT. But if you have this LUT, then you can use it in multiple different applications, whether you're editing in iMovie or LumaFusion or Final Cut, whatever it may be, Premiere Pro, you can use this same LUT follow these same steps and you'll be able to get the same results I'm going to get today. So download this LUT and then move over to DaVinci Resolve. Okay, so now let's get the LUT installed. We're going to go over to the color tab. We're going to click on LUTs and then you're going to see a bunch of different things right here. You should see some LUTs. You may see some folders. You want to right click on either one of those and do reveal in finder. And then basically what you're going to do is just throw that LUT directly into this folder come back over here to DaVinci Resolve, right click, and then hit refresh. That's gonna load in the LUT. We're gonna be coming back to this later, but now you're all good to go. You don't have to do this anymore. Next, we're gonna be setting up our project settings. Also very important. So what you wanna do is go over here to this gear icon at the bottom of the page. And as you can see, I do 3840 by 1920. This really doesn't matter. You can set this to however you want. But for me, I like to do this so that I can fill up the screen with my Beautiful and delicious YouTube videos. Next, you wanna go over here to Color Manage. You wanna do Color Science DaVinci YRGB Color Managed. What you're gonna see whenever you click on this for the first time is DaVinci YRGB. You just wanna make sure you have it on Color Manage. That's just gonna, it's gonna change the way your image color grades. You don't need to know anymore, just, just change it. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so sassy right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's like 9.42 on a Friday night and I have nothing better to do with my life other than teach you guys how to color grade. And hey, Matthew's here. Floating hand. Floating hand. <laughs> so we're going to throw this clip on the timeline. And guess what, guys? It's me. Hi. Um, I'm not the problem. I'm showing you how to fix the problem, but it is me. Let me know if you got that reference. So let's jump over here to the color tab. We're going to close down the LUTs and we want to make sure that we have nodes activated. So just click up here on this and you will see your nodes. Next, we're going to create two more nodes. So to do that, option S, option S, and then we're going to name these. So this first one is going to be LUT, L-U-T. The other one is going to be balance, B-A-L. The last one's going to be yo mama. I'm, I'm joking. It's going to be WB for white balance. Sorry if I triggered anybody watching this video. Okay, so next what you want to do is go over here to LUTs. You want to right click, go down here to LUT, and then you want to find the LUT that you installed. For me, I put it in the Sony folder and I renamed it Sony LUT. This is the same exact LUT that you guys downloaded earlier or you should have downloaded. Also, if you guys want to follow along in this tutorial, feel free to go down and download the same clip. I'll give it to you completely for free. All you have to do is subscribe or like this video. That would be helpful. If you don't do that, you're still gonna get the clip. So it probably you probably won't do it, but if you could, that would be nice. So all you wanna do is click on the LUT, Sony LUT, and you can already see it looks so much better. Now we're about to go in here and add the secret sauce, which is just kind of balancing it all out. So go over here to the graph right down here at the bottom is this icon. You want to make sure that you're on the right node. Don't be on the LUT one. Make sure you're on the balance one. Now, typically what I do is I just bring this up to 60%. I come over here to color boost and I bring that up to 5%. And sometimes I will add a little bit of sharpness, but these new Sony cameras, I'm actually recording on the Sony ZV-E1 now. They're so sharp, especially with the G Master lens. You don't need to add any sharpness. I mean, I don't, it, it's just gonna over sharpen it. So now what I'm gonna do is just, I'm gonna decide where I want the attention to be. Right now, the background's pretty light. I would love to see some more green out there. So I'm just gonna pull down my highlights a little bit. 
I'm gonna pull up the shadows. Actually, I'm gonna go to gamma. Pull up the gamma. That's great. So if you wanna toggle this on and off, on, if you wanna toggle this on or off, <laughs> all you have to do is click on the number of the node and look. So this last note is for white balance, but I feel like we're pretty balanced, so I'm not going to touch it at all. So you see how quick and easy that was? Now you can go do this yourself in DaVinci Resolve and you can get a great image in just a few steps. So again, why I set up different nodes is so that if a client says, hey, I feel like that image is too warm. Hey, I feel like that image is, you know, whatever. I know exactly what node to come back to to make color adjustments. Um, and it just makes my life a lot easier because I set this up the same way every single time I get ready to color grade. So really easy to color grade this footage and it looks really good, especially for the price of this camera. So if you guys are interested in some other different ways on how to get more creative looks, not just this commercial style look, then I have a whole video showing you exactly how to do that step by step. All you have to do is check it out right over here.